I've just found an app that lets you create the most customizable landing pages in Shopify that I've ever seen. In the past, what we had to do was use the Shopify theme customization tool. Now, the problem with that was is you're restricted by the theme. All you could really do was change colors and fonts and move things up and down or add or remove sections. But with this app, we have almost complete control. We can drag and drop. We can move things around wherever we want on the page. We can basically have full design control and we don't even need to develop. We can just do it ourselves, click publish, and the page is good to go. So I'm going to take you in inside my Shopify store today. I'm gonna to build a landing page with you and show you exactly how I'm using this app to get more sales in my store. The app I'm using is called Instant Section and Page Builder. It's got a five-star rating on Shopify and it is super easy to install. Click the link in my description. It's gonna take you here and then we're gonna click open. That's gonna install the app directly into your Shopify store. Once it's installed, you're gonna to come to a page just like this one. So to get started, I want you to click Create New Project. We're gonna give it a name here. We'll call it uh, Dosed Coffee Landing Page. And we can choose the industry one. I'm in food and beverages. We'll click Create Project. Now, in here, you want to connect your Shopify store. Once you're connected, it's going to take you through to something like this. Now, over on the left-hand side, this is where we do all the work. So we can either create a landing page from scratch. We can create sections that go into existing themes. We can create product pages from scratch, or we can create different elements. Let me take you through those. So landing pages gives you a whole heap of templates that you can use that are pre-designed landing pages. These ones are really, really cool. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one is a theme section. So these are the parts that you insert into your theme. So we can see we've got all these different sort of layouts here, and these come from some of the, you know, the biggest brands in the world. So you're using the exact same designs that these large brands use. The other thing you can do is you can create a product page from scratch. So you go in here and you can choose different product pages, and then you can even create like a blog template from scratch as well. All right, so this is really, really awesome. But today I'm gonna to do a page, and I'm gonna do something for my coffee store. So if we have a look here, there's so many different ones to choose from. And the way you choose is just hover over it and it shows you what the page looks like. Uh, so just scroll down a little bit here. Over on the left, you could filter it by, you know, whatever industry you're in. I'm just gonna scroll down and see if there's anything that sort of looks good. You'll also see on some of these previews is this little grid icon. Now this means that this template actually uses the grid functionality and that allows you to be able to drag elements all around the page without having to be locked into sort of sections and squares. And uh, I'll choose one that has one of these so you can sort of see the features there. All right, one thing I think looks really good, I really like this one. This is actually gonna work really well for my coffee store. So what I'm gonna click add page. And that's now gonna add it into this little editor here. So you can see that it's already built the page for us based on that design that we have already seen. So the way it works is each of these elements is actually editable. So every time you click on one, you're gonna see uh, on the right hand side a way to customize it. So we can see with this one here, you know, we can basically customize every single part of it. Now, if you remember, I mentioned something about the grid. This is where the grid is really powerful. So what I can actually do is I can grab this and I can drag it around. And if you see those little faint lines there, that's what called the grid. And it means that we can actually move this anywhere on the grid. So I could move this down here. I could move this over here. I could move this there. I could do anything I want, right? So it's really super like customizable. You can't do this in any other sort of thing. I was blown away when this feature came out. It's really, really cool. So now let's go and start to design our page. So I'm gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna replace this with my product. So we'll go here, uh, we're gonna upload an image, choose my bottles. So these are my, my products here, these are awesome. Now I might just keep these lactose free and dairy free things here because that's exactly matches our product. So that's pretty handy. Uh, but if you do want to change these, you just click here and over here you'd be able to click in and then you can upload your own image if you want. Uh, and if you hover over it, it shows you what it might look like. So you could put your own little ones in there, just pop into Canva and add those in there. So that's sort of the first thing. Now, if we want to go in here and change this, this also is an image and you can see this is like a fill image here. So that's really a quick, easy way to do that. And you can effectively go through here and just adjust anything that you want. All right, so I don't mind this, this looks pretty good. Uh, so if we scroll down here, I'm gonna change this text here, the dairy-free milk that's filled with proteins. I might change this to say something like the purest way to drink coffee. I might just make that work a little better like that. And then in here, we can write our own little thing and you can see I'm just clicking in and doing it. Pure coffee extract that is as close to bean flavor as you can get. It's like a liquid version of a coffee bean. Okay, so that's our product there. And I'll change my spelling. Cool. So now that's already starting to look really cool like my page. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. 
yeah, awesome. Looks great on mobile. Looks great on tablet. So I didn't have to actually do anything here that did it for me, so that's awesome. All right, now, that's pretty easy. You know, this is pretty much a what you see is what you get editor. So you can go through and you can sort of change anything. But where the cool thing comes in is over here on the top left. If we press the plus, what we can actually do is we can add lots of different things into here. So we can add something which is called theme sections. Now, if you're familiar with the Shopify customizer, theme sections are pretty common in there. And they're little parts of the page that you can put in. So as you can see here, there's all these predefined theme sections. Now, what I wanna do is I actually wanna put a comparison chart in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type into search, I'll type in comparison, see if something comes up. Yeah, awesome. All right, here is the comparison chart. Uh, and I like this one here. I think it's gonna be better, best suited for me. But you can also see there's a grid element here, so you could use that if you wanted a grid one. So I'm gonna choose this one here. And now we can see it has put it uh, at the bottom of this theme here, so that's cool. So if I wanna move that up, I should just better grab that and drag it all the way up. Okay, we can move it up a little bit further and a little bit further. So we can do it that way, or we can actually move it up here, I've realized. So I'm gonna put it under the hero. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, cool, there it is there. So in here, we can now go through and edit this one. So rather than byte versus the rest, we could have dosed versus the rest. And then in here, we could obviously edit the text to be whatever we want. I'm not gonna go through and, and bore you guys with filling that out. All right, and then we can go through and we can start basically editing this chart here, okay? And then, you know, we could put in here, uh, rather than traditional toothpaste, we could do something like um, coffee pods. We could do powder coffee. And then coffee machines or something, espresso machines, we do something like that, okay? And then in here, we could probably change that to our logo. So let's see what we got in here. Uh, so this is an image. So we're gonna grab that image. And we'll grab it here and click it in this one. I'm gonna upload a new image. I'm gonna choose my bottle and click open. It's uploading it for us. Awesome, that's chucked it in there. So that's a great example of sort of how, how we would do that. So I've just been able to use that section in there. Okay, so we've got that part there. The purest way to drink coffee, we've edited that. All right, let's scroll down a little bit further. Now we can see we've got elements here. Now I actually don't have anything here, so I'm gonna delete this. So you need to just press the delete button or you can go in here, right click and then click delete. And that's just gonna remove that section all together. Now let's move on to the next section. This is where it gets really cool. This is where this app actually connects directly into Shopify and pulls the information out of Shopify into this landing page directly. So I'll show you how that works. As you can see over on the left, we've got this products uh, section here. And if we click into that section, on the top right hand side, you're going to see either placeholder or Shopify. So let's click Shopify and then we're going to click select source. Now what this then does is it connects either into our products or it can connect into our collections. And it means that we can pull these in directly into this section. So let's click products and I'm going to choose the one that we are selling here, which is a premium coffee concentrate. Okay, so that's now pulled that in for us. And what we can see is that nothing's actually changed here though. So we have to actually go in and tell it to use all the data that comes in from Shopify. Cause right now it's just bringing the products, but it's not bringing in the data. And this is good if you just wanna put your own images in here rather than pull the images directly from Shopify. But I'm gonna pull them from Shopify just so it looks really good. Okay, so if we click through onto this image and we scroll down here and we click Shopify, what's gonna happen is it's now pulled in all the products directly from there. This comes straight off my product page. Now, if we click uh, the title here, do the same thing. We scroll back down and I'll just click the next one there and we'll grab title. So I might have to double click in there. Okay, yeah, flavor. So we can see we've got flavor here. So we scroll down to the flavor element there, which right here, it says chocolate. If we click this little uh, database icon here, we can then choose title directly in there from Shopify and you can see it's changed all that in there. Awesome, so that's now pulled it in all together. And we can also go in and change all the colors and things that we want. So if we click on the element and we scroll down, we're gonna see all the colors here. So let's just say, I wanna make this like a little color like this. Yeah, it looks a little bit more on brand for us. So we can go there and we can see that looks great. Purest way to drink coffee, we've got our comparison chart, we've got our products coming in. Uh, we could even probably, I don't know if I want this little swatch here. Can I turn that off? Let's have a look. Yeah, I can do that. So I'm just gonna delete that row because I don't really need it. That looks really good. It's a lot more cleaner. And obviously you can change sort of the layout and the alignment of everything of this as you need, all right? So let's go back down, let's see some more things. So this is a little bit more information about our products. So I'm gonna change the background color of this. Double click into there. 
Add the content and I'll click in here and we'll choose another color. I might do this nice pinky color, looks good. And then here I can change this image. You can see it's really easy just to go through and change everything. So we click that image there. I'm gonna upload a new one to this coffee. And in here we're gonna talk a little bit about our coffee uh, compost. So with that upload, okay, and we choose that. And we can see that's inserted in there. So in here we can talk a little bit about our product. So um, great flavor, even greater for the environment. Great, and then here we could write things around, you know, Dost um, is a sustainable brand that, you know, gives our, <laughs> turns our coffee into compost, okay? So that's sort of what we do there. Uh, then if we wanted to, we could change obviously these icons. So just clicking through doing it, let me change that icon to something and click icon there. Maybe we could type in the word trash. So this is a trash can, yeah, nice one. Okay, we could do that. And then maybe in here, we could do like a flower or something. It's got a flower already. Let's get any other flowers, I really like that one. Flower, oh yeah, this is a good one, awesome. Okay, so we could then make some changes there and then that would drive them directly to that page. All right, let's go back down and see what else we've got. Uh, this is really cool. So this is sort of like a, another sort of um, little element there. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one actually. I might get rid of that. So I'm just gonna go in here, grab that features container and turn that off. Cool. So now we have a really nice looking landing page right now. And we're gonna now go a little bit more detail in here. So this is where we could put some information about our product to try and get someone to actually go and buy it. All right, so here we could do, you know, natural flavor and we've got a, we've already got a vanilla flavor, but I don't, uh, and maybe we could do this something slightly different. And so you can see here, we could do the same thing. We could change the source, we could turn it into whatever we want. So you can see this one's already bringing in our ice latte kit. So let's have a look and see, we might actually change that to be, I might make this our, premium coffee concentrate. And we, what we could do here is we could change this from natural to, let's go to the product here. See if we can change it here. We'll choose another one. We'll choose the variant this time. Maybe we'll choose this as one bottle. Great. Okay, so that's one bottle. And then title and price. What we can see is we could actually bring that price in directly from our Shopify store. So we've got two different prices here. One is the strike through and one is the real price. So I'm gonna get the real price. So we're gonna grab that and where it says the price, I'm gonna choose this element and then I'm gonna do uh, the normal price. Now I actually don't have a compare at price set. So I'm actually just gonna delete that, I don't need it. And let's do the other one. We're gonna grab the next one. We'll go change source. We'll do two products on this one. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward what we do here. Okay, we go through and we change everything else around there. I'll just quickly do that and then we'll move on to the next bit. Change that and we change that to price. And you can see the price has now gone up and that's dynamically coming in. Now we could do the same thing with this natural section here. So if we go to natural, we grab that, we could then go and bring in the variation title. It only says two there, so that doesn't look that great. So we might not do that. We might have to put that one in manually for us rather than a dynamic source. So we'll cross that out and then we we'll just probably type in here, one bottle. Okay, cool. So that is pretty good. Maybe not text one bottle, we'll close that there. And then in here we could write rich and creamy. We could write um, just one bottle to get started, something like that. So we obviously wanna be, convincing people to buy this product as we go. Just one bottle to get started. All right, awesome. And then we go in here, we can change this image. We can either upload one ourselves or let's try and grab one. Yeah, I like that, that's cool. Grab one from Shopify, nice. All right, and then in, in here, instead of 50% off, we could do um, something like maybe subscribe and save or something. Let's have a look what we can do there. So instead of 50, let's write subscribe. Subscribe and save. Something along those lines. Now, I'll probably make it look a bit better. I'm just gonna delete those other things. But you can see, just, oh, wrong one. So I just pressed con, uh, Command Z to undo that one. So let's go and get this little, uh, little one here. Cool, so that's sort of playing around a little bit there. Let me change the size of that text.
we just click in here and let's have a look. So size 32, we're just gonna bring it down a little bit. Try and make it fit in there, okay? And then let's see if we can bring it across, beautiful. And my center align it, that's better, okay? Now obviously you can spend more and more time playing with this if you want. Uh, I'm just gonna delete that little one there. Ah, that's much better. And then we change this, might change the color of that to be a little bit more fun. Might make like something like that, subscribe and save. Cool, so we can see what's happening here, right? It's looking really, really good. And let's go down a little bit further. All right, so now we got what our customers say. So this is a similar sort of thing. We can pop in here and we could start filling all this information out. So you sort of get the point on what we want to do here. You can use these templates to build out an entire page. So I'm not going to go through and build it out together with you. You can sort of see exactly what we're doing. We click in here, we head over to the right, we either pull in dynamic data or we put it in ourselves. Uh, we've got some frequently asked questions. So this is a great anatomy of a landing page. So if you're not really sure how to build a landing page, this gives you all the sort of framework. So we talk about the product, we talk about the offer, we talk about who it's for, we show them how they can buy it, and then we answer any questions that they might have and give them any social proof on reviews and things like that, all right? So once we've got all that done, we can effectively go ahead and publish this. So we'd click publish. And what's gonna happen is this is then gonna publish on your Shopify store. And in order to see it, this is what we do. We head back to Shopify and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna to go to your online store sales channels and we're gonna to go to pages and I want you to create a new page. We're gonna call this, uh, whatever you wanna call it, I'm just gonna call it Dose Landing Page. And I'll call it Example. Okay, we'll click Save. And then we grab the drop down, which is the instant page here. So this changes the template. We'll click save and if you want to see what this looks like just click this little view template here it's going to take you into the shopify theme editor and you're going to see what it looks like in here directly so that's pretty cool huh so now we can see it within our exact website that's our heading this is the landing page and now it's built directly into your page you can see the moving carousel we can see everything we've uploaded our pop-ups and everything still work and effectively we can just publish this and it does its thing it's actually pretty wild how good that has actually worked. So that's how you build out landing pages directly in Shopify with an app that integrates really, really seamlessly. So go ahead and try and build a couple landing pages for yourself. Now I love using landing pages where I can drive ads to them. I can use my email traffic to go there. I can use it to really hone in on driving people down the funnel. So the only thing they've got to do is click add to cart. Now using an app like this is gonna get you to where you need to go in terms of you know increasing your revenue and helping your conversion rate. But if you did need that little bit of extra help, I do run a program and it's called the e-commerce academy where me and my team work directly with you to help you scale your e-commerce business from where you are now to over a million dollars a year so if you're interested i do have a link in the description if you want to be mentored by me and my team alternatively there's a couple of videos here that i'm sure if you sit and binge you're going to learn everything you need to know to grow your e-commerce business